Aspirations. I got shit to do, the aftermath of preparation Good food, good mood, blood in circulation One step at a time, yeah that's how you make it Set a goal you control and the steps you take them I try to pick one thought, have some concentration And if I make a mistake, it's called education I try to do this every day, call it replication Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Nice. Goopy, 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 man. I see the side of one rotor. It's kind of rusty. Mm. Oh well. Had compression. A little bit at least. See that? Uh -huh. That's kind of rusty. And now it feels like it has no compression. Which one was the weaker one? The front rotor, which I can tell because that side, that apex seal is completely stuck. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't have any compression anymore. Oh, there's one.
pulling this together. Shall we? Shall. <laughs> I was looking here. Not bad. Not bad at all. Well, all side seals are stuck. That's to be expected. We got some stuck apex seals, but we don't have anything growing in here. So that's a good sign. Coolant passages aren't actually as plugged as I thought they'd be. So that's also really good. But that looks pretty phenomenal. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm excited. Sides of the road are a little grody, not bad. I think all the seals are stuck. Yep. All of them are stuck. Oh, that's okay. It's front. So now with the engine apart, we're looking at a few crucial things to tell whether this engine is re worth rebuilding or not. This is the front iron and things that I see that are a uh, red flag is not necessarily this stuff, but the red flag comes to me around this area that's really pitted down in here. It almost looks like there was a little bit of water that sat in this engine at one point in time because there's a line across here and that was not from the rotor. Uh, all in all, that's the worst of it right there. That's not gonna buff out. Uh, this bearing, I uh, don't know if you can see it in the video, but I'm looking for copper. Copper is the base layer of the bearing. And I see lots of copper right here. There, all the way across the bearing. That is where compression happens. So the, the centric shaft is pushed the hardest to this side of the bearing. All the rest around, it's not, it's worn. It's very, very worn. And right there, right where the bearing Right before it gets oil, it's copper all the way across. So that needs replaced. And we come over here and look at the rotors. Stuck seals are easy to get out. There's a remedy for that. Uh, though you can see the rotor bearings, lots and lots of different colors going on in here. And across where the bearing is mated is all down to copper right there. So that needs replaced. Same story with this one. Lots of lots of copper right across there. So it's done. This center iron, not terrible on this side. It's actually really good. Though this is double-sided. So let's look at the other side. This is the side that met the front rotor and there is some really, really, really bad scratches pitting down in here. Uh, it's almost through the nitrate, I think. And once again, you can kind of see a water line across here. So that's, that's a problem. This back one, not bad. Not bad at all. Probably reusable. Bearing on the other hand, once again, same thing as the front stationary gear bearing. Copper all across here, copper all around this oiling hole. Really worn. So that needs replaced. Don't know if this is usable yet. 
Uh, the front housing is not terrible. Not really worried about this color, this stuff. This stuff will come off. Uh, yeah, once again, that stuff will come off. Just gunk. Though, what kills a housing out of any of these is the plating or the nitrate coating coming off. And you can see that it's coming off quite a bit right in here. There is a measurement to determine how far this can go in before it causes a problem. Also, now I see that there's quite a few like that, that scratch right there. That was a chunk of dirt that met the combustion cycle on the way out. That's, it's not good. This, all these scratches going that way, not terrible. They're starting to get a little rough, not terrible. But that, that could cause a problem. As the apex seal passes over that, that could cause premature wear and potentially it's like rust. As soon as it starts, it will continue to grow. So that's questionable. The rear housing, that the irons were the best, also has all of that same stuff going on to it. Pretty bad down in here. Though the worst of it is actually not even there. The worst of it's up here. As you can see, the nitrate coating has completely worn off entirely. All right across here. And that's, that's in three-eighths of an inch. So... Will, if you reuse these housings, will it work? Yes. Will it shorten the lifespan of the engine considerably? Yes. So you gotta ask yourself, how much is it worth it? Build an engine for 200,000 miles or build an engine for 20,000 miles or less? It's gotta cost you the same money and time.